Hello viewers, today we will learn about transportation problem. Now let us define transportation problem. Transportation problem is defined as transporting the goods or set of items from the various available resources such as firms or industries etc to the various destinations such as warehouses or departmental stores etc to fulfill all the requirements. Here the major objective of the transportation problem is to minimize the transportation cost and also to satisfy all the requirements at various destinations from the given supply constraints. Now let us look at the network diagram of the transportation problem. Here we have the resources A1, A2, so on, AM and the destinations B1, B2, so on, BN. Here the cost of transporting an item from the source AI to the source BJ is CIJ. See, here this is the network diagram of the transportation problem. Here from the source A1, we can transport the items to the destinations B1, B2 and so on, BN. So this is the network diagram. Now let us define the mathematical formulation of the transportation problem. The TP, the transportation problem is a special case of linear programming problem. So we can express this as a LPP. Now let us consider the quantity XIJ to be transported from the source I to the destination J and CIJ is the cost of transporting the items from source I to the destination J. Now the objective function is given by minimize double summation CIJ XIJ. Here we are considering the cost. So we have to minimize the transportation cost. Suppose if you are considering the profit, then we have to maximize the profit so that the objective function becomes the maximization type. Coming to the subject to constraints, the first constraint is given by summation j from 1 to n xij less than or equal to ai for all i, which means the total requirement should be less than or equal to supply. Otherwise, we are unable to fulfill the requirements. So, this is the supply constraint. Next, summation i from 1 to m xij, the total availability should be greater than or equal to bj. This is the demand constraint. Now, let us look at the tabular form of the transportation problem. We have the sources 1 to so on m and the destinations 1 to so on n. See, the cell 1 1 represents transporting an item from the source 1 to the destination 1 and C11 represents the cost of transporting an item from the source 1 to the destination 1. X11 represents the quantity to be transported from the source 1 to the destination 1 and so on, CMN represents the cost of transporting an item from the source M to the destination N. And similarly, XMN represents the quantity to be transported from the source M to the destination N. On the right side, we have the supply A1, A2 and so on AM. From the first source, we have the supply A1 and so on. From the mth source, we have AM. And demand B1 from the first destination the demand is B1 and from the second destination we have the demand B2 and so on BN. Now let us look at the types of transportation problem. Here we have two types balanced and unbalanced. Now what is balanced transportation problem? If the total supply equals to total demand then it is called balanced transportation problem. That is, if summation AI equals to summation BJ. Now, we will see an example. It will give us more clarity. See here, from the example, we can observe that there are four sources and three destinations. And uh, 
the cost of transporting an item from the source 1 to the destination 1 is 4 and so on and the supply from the first source is 100 from the second source 50 third source 30 and fourth source 20 and the demand from the first destination 50 second destination 80 and third destination 70 now calculate the total supply 100 plus 50 plus 30 plus 20 that is 200 and the total demand that is 50 plus 80 plus 70 that is 200 so we are we can observe that the total supply equal to total demand so here this is an example for the balanced transportation problem now unbalanced transportation problem if the total supply is not equals to the total demand then it is called unbalanced tp that is summation ai not equals to summation bj let us look at the example here we have the sources 1, 2, 3 and destinations 1, 2, 3 and the supply from the various sources is given and demand also given. Now calculate the total supply 30 plus 50 plus 20 that is 100 and the demand 50 plus 30 plus 40 that is 120. Here we can observe that the total supply is not equal to total demand. So this is an unbalanced transportation problem. Now, how to convert this unbalanced TP to a balanced TP? There are two cases. If the demand greater than supply, then we have to add a dummy row with zero cost. And case two, if supply is greater than demand, then we have to add a dummy column with zero cost. Now, we will see the examples. See, if case one. If the demand greater than supply, then what will happen? See here, from the problem on the left side, we can observe that the total demand is 100 and the total supply, that is IT. Here, the demand is more than the supply. So, in, the, in this case, we have to balance this TP by adding a dummy row with supply 20. Because the supply value, the total supply value is IT. In order to balance this, we have to add a source with zero cost and the supply 20. So that it converts to balanced transportation problem. See, we have added the fourth row with zero cost, zero and zero and with the supply 20. Next, case two. In the case 2, if supply is more than demand, then see from the example we have the sources 1, 2, 3 and destinations 1 and 2. And supply, the total supply is 100 and the total demand is 80. Here the demand is less than the supply. Now, in order to balance this TP, we have to add a dummy column with zero cost and the requirement 20. See here the third column is added with zero cost and the requirement is 20 so that it is converted to balanced transportation problem. Now how to solve the transportation problem? How to find the transportation cost? Now we will have the solutions. There are two types of solutions for the transportation problem. In the type 1 we will find the op initial basic feasible solution and uh, in the type 2 we will find the optimal solution. Now what are the different methods to find the initial basic feasible solutions? So to find the initial basic feasible solution we have three methods northwest corner method and least cost method or matrix minima method or we can also call it as row or column minima method. And third one, penalty method or Vogel's approximation method or we can also call it as VAM method. And for obtaining the optimal solution, we have two methods, stepping stone method and MODI method, modified distribution method or we can also call it as UV method. Now in the next video, we will discuss briefly about these methods. I hope you have understood this video. 
so then like share comment and subscribe for more information thank you